What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. This is NG Models April 2022 releases. Without further ado, let's get started. Starting off here, we have two Southwest 737-700s. One of them is in the Missouri One livery. Uh, obviously, as you guys can see, NG have changed their website. Uh, the registration on this model is number 280 Whiskey November and 280 WM. It's going to 400 and it's 47.99. Moving on down the line, we have another Southwest 737-700. This is in the same Missouri One livery, uh, same registration. I believe it's the same registration, uh, and it just has these split scimitar winglets. Uh, yeah, it's the same registration, uh, except with the uh, split scimitar winglets, uh, and it's the same price. Continuing on uh, down the line, we have a Delta 737-700. Uh, it looks really good. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of model companies release this model, uh, but this is probably going to sell really well, especially considering the fact that it's NG. But uh, registration is November 306, Oscar, Oscar Quebec? Uh, no, Delta Quebec. Uh, November 306, Delta Quebec, and 306, DQ. Let's go into 400, and the price is 46 dollars Continuing on, down the line, we have two Cargo Express 737-800s. Uh, they're pretty much in the same livery, but one has a Malaysian registration, uh, 9-mic uh, Kilo X-Ray Bravo, 9M KXB, uh, and it's forty six ninety nine. And then the other one uh, is uh, just the same livery one, except with the registration number 248 Golf, e Golf Echo? Yeah, Golf Echo, and 248 GE. So they're the same price of forty six ninety nine, and they're both 1 to 400. Continuing down here, we have three Transavia models. They're all 737-800s. Uh, Starting off here, it's a Transavia 737-800. Uh, Registration is Papa Hotel uh, Kilo X-Ray Alpha, PHK, uh, HXA, actually. So, uh, Papa Hotel Hotel X-Ray Alpha, PHHXA. It's going to 400, and it's 46.99. Now, all three of these models are 46.99, and now on 1 to 400 scale. And the next one is just a Transavia with uh, split scimitar winglets. This one is uh, Hotel X-Ray Bravo, HXB. Um, and for some reason, there is the uh, same, same uh, aircraft, except it's in a different sort of configuration i believe this aircraft is bought from sun country as you guys can see because it's a sun country airlines it has the same registration of papa hotel uh hotel x-ray bravo phhxb so this is the same aircraft now there's a lot of variety in terms of the models in this release and i like how ng is doing this so you can pick like oh do i want you know normal winglets or do i want split scimitars as an example but um yeah all these models are one to 446 bucks Moving on down the line, we have a Honeywell 757 200. Uh, this one is this one looks really interesting. I don't know if Honeywell um, actually have this aircraft in real life. I'm pretty sure they do, but it does look really strange. Um, I definitely do want to get this though. Uh, the registration on this is November 757 Hotel Whiskey and 757 HW. It's one to 400. The price is 60 bucks. Now I'm pretty sure that the reason why this is so much is because it has a test engine mounted to it. This is going to be a really interesting model uh, to see. But uh, yeah, moving on down the line, we finally have cargo jet models being released. I'm pretty sure NG is the first model company to release cargo jet models. Uh, we have two 757-200s. First one is Charlie Foxtrot Kilo Alpha Juliet C F K A J without the winglets. And then the one with the winglets is um, Charlie Golf Victor Alpha Juliet C uh, G V A J. Um, and it's just with the winglets. The registration on this one is... Uh, yeah, like I said before, but the price is forty six ninety nine for both of them. Moving on down the line, we have a United Star Alliance triple seven two hundred ER. Uh, now, uh, a day after this video comes out, you guys are going to see uh, a little short video that I posted, or two days after this, of me getting a United triple seven two hundred ER. So this is really unfortunate timing, uh, but I definitely do want to go for this. The registration on this is number seven seven zero two two. Uh, it's scale one to four hundred, and the price is sixty bucks. Now, um, obviously, I'm pretty sure that this won't be that expensive on model stores. Uh, just like Gemini, just when they raise their prices, it'll obviously uh, be less money. But um, NG probably are raising their prices because every single other model company is. Uh, but honestly, I'd pay a lot more money for the quality. Continuing going down the line, I'm pretty sure this is the first occurrence of this. We have a uh, Norse Atlantic seven eight seven. Uh, Dreamliner. I 
probably want to get this. I do want to get this because um, if you guys saw my um, top eight airline startups in 2022 video, this is one of the ones that I mentioned, and they will be flying to the New York area, so it's going to be interesting to see which airport they fly to. It's either going to be Stewart or Newark from what I know, so I'm definitely going to get this. But the registration is uh, Lima November, Lima November, Oscar, Ellen. Uh, LNL. Scale 1 to 400, the price is $55.99. Continuing on down the line, we have a Government of Hungary A3200 freighter uh, with the air cargo sort of livery thing. Um, registration on this is Hotel Alpha Lima Mike Golf, I believe. No, Lima Hotel Uniform, so H A L H U. Scale 1 to 400, and the price is $55.99. Moving on down the line, we have two China Eastern AT3200s. First one is Bravo 5920 in their, um, what is it? World Skills Shanghai 2022 livery. Uh, and the other one is Bravo 5975 in their normal livery. Both of these uh, are 55.99. Oh, actually, no. The uh, World Skills Shanghai is 57, and the regular one is 55. Moving on down the line, we have four A350s. We have an Air France A350-900, registration uh, Foxtrot Hotel Yankee. Uh, no, Foxtrot Hotel Tango Yankee Lima, uh, F-H-T-Y-L. And we have three Japan Airlines A350-900s. The first one is uh, Juliet Alpha 05 x Juliet, J-A-05-X-J, with this little sort of UNICEF. I believe it's supposed to be handwriting on the back. Uh, this one is in the Shuri Castle Reconstruction Stickers, as it's called. Uh, and we have another uh, Japan Airlines, which is the second one. It just has a little UNICEF logo on the back, and it's just a normal Japan Airlines A350. Registration, Juliet Alpha 10 X-Ray Juliet. And the last model in this release is the Japan Airlines One World A350-900. Registration is Juliet Alpha 15 XJ Juliet J 15 XJ. This is no, they're not the same livery. They but they go by uh, intervals of ten with the same uh, f uh, first two letters and uh, last two letters. But uh, yeah, this is a very uh, variety full release. You have everything uh, for American collectors, which I've known a lot of people have wanted the Missouri one. You have uh, for Europeans, just Transavia, and you even have. Um, some new airlines like North Atlantic, uh, Government of Hungary, and you have a lot of variety in this release. But definitely, I'm definitely going to go for the United uh, Starline 777-200 and the Cargo to 757-200. Uh, if I have a little bit of money, if I have a little bit of money left over, I definitely do want to go for the Norse 7879 and the Honeywell 757-200, um, just because they look really cool. The Norse most likely gonna fly to New York, but the Honeywell is just gonna look cool in the fleet. But, uh, yeah, that being said, I'll just conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell so you my videos, and comment down below what you're getting from this release. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.